In previous lessons, you've seen how it's possible to switch between views in FileMaker, from Table View that we're seeing here, to List View, and to Form View. In each of these different views, you're seeing essentially the same data, but it's presented differently. That's actually quite important, and it gives an essential clue to what it is that makes a database really useful. Let's take a moment to talk some more about that. As you've already seen, you can use FileMaker to find and sort data very easily. So a database is a pretty easy way to store information and then efficiently access it and organize it. You've also seen that a database table is founded on the familiar concept of columns and rows, such as you would use to create any kind of list of information. For example, even something as commonplace as a simple shopping list generally has rows, with each row containing a different item to be purchased. And it may have columns too, for example, where you list the quantity for each item. There might even be a third column where you put the name of the shop that you expect will supply the item. When the data is going to be stored in a database, each row of the table is stored as a separate record in the database, and each column is stored as a separate field. But unlike a conventional table or spreadsheet, which is locked in a grid if you will, a database makes it easy to view different subsets of the information available. One way of viewing subsets is to extract a group of records, the way you do when you perform a find. Another quite different way to view a subset of the data is to arrange a small selection of fields on a screen. In this file we've been working with, there are only a few fields and only a small number of records. But by way of an example, it's a simple matter to create a new layout and use it to present the same information in a different format. Let's say I duplicate the layout we've been looking at, delete some of the fields, and move the others around. We'll then have two different views of the same underlying data. To demonstrate this, let's go into FileMaker's Layout mode. I'll then choose Duplicate Layout from the Layouts menu, and make a few changes to the location and selection of field objects that will be presented in this new screen. Bear with me. The techniques I'm using here will be discussed in greater detail in later lessons. So, for the moment, don't worry too much about the actions that I'm taking, but focus instead on the big picture. Which is that what I've just created here is a screen that will show us just the author and year of publication for each book in the current database table. After I return to Browse Mode and switch to FileMaker's List View, you can see that we have a very different view of the data. One of the important things for you to know is that when I've taken fields off this new layout just now, they haven't been deleted from the database. All the fields and the data that's been entered into them are still there. I'm just choosing to leave those fields out of the new view of the data that I'm building here. Having made these few quick changes and returned to browse mode, it's now possible for me to navigate freely between the two different views of the data in this same table. I can do that by switching layouts from the Layout menu. So you can see that the previous view is available just as it was before we started, and the duplicate layout now presents a list view in a very different format. In a table that has a significant number of columns and rows, being able to extract just the information you need to see and then present it in a clear and useful arrangement, providing just the information that's useful in a particular situation, and grouping the fields in a way that makes the most sense for each purpose, is vastly more useful than anything you get with a conventional table or spreadsheet, where your data is locked into a grid of rows and columns. The ability to grab just the data you need and arrange it into a variety of presentation formats gives you immense flexibility to solve problems when working with large or complex datasets.